Dr. Colleen Fogarty, the chair for the University of Rochester Department of Family Medicine, is with us. Doctor, thanks for a few minutes. Good to see you. Good morning, Mark. So, World Immunization Week, uh, why are we putting a spotlight on immunizations? Excellent question. World Health Organization has World Immunization Week every April, the last week in April. It's one of the most important public health interventions in the modern era, vaccinations are. Well, as you're well aware, we've talked a lot about vaccines uh, in this segment over the last couple of years, but it's not just the COVID vaccine. There are lots of vaccines out there. What is immunization? Exactly. Let's start with defining that. Sure. So immunization is a process where we introduce a vaccine into safely into a person's body. This is typically injection, but also can be by mouth, depending on the vaccination. And this causes our bodies to build up an immunity or a resistance to the thing that causes the disease. Let's define some vaccine preventable diseases because there are a number of them out there. That's right. It's a key concept, vaccine preventable disease. And the key word here is preventable. Um, we, these are diseases that have an effective and safe immunization to prevent the onset or the severity of it. There are now over 20 diseases that can be prevented through vaccination. For example, diphtheria, tetanus, influenza, measles, and polio. And every single year, use and administration of these vaccines prevents two to three million deaths across the world. That's deaths, Mark. Mm -hmm. And it also contributes to the reduction of disease and sick days lost, and also some serious side effects um, and other conditions. And the concern, as we've uh, uh, illuminated in this segment uh, on a couple of occasions in the last couple of years, is that the pandemic has prevented a lot of people, youngsters especially, from getting all of their immunizations, right? Exactly. In this country, when the um, health system needed to shut down early on in the pandemic, many people were not able to get in for their childhood immunizations or adulthood immunizations. And still, there are people who may be uh, f fearful for coming into the health care system. And worldwide, many mass vaccination campaigns needed to shut down so health personnel could handle the pandemic. So it's really a huge issue across the country and across the world. And what we're encouraging people is to pay attention to vaccines. Think about yourself, think about your family members. If there are things that you're eligible for to receive, then talk to your healthcare team, talk to your pharmacist, and consider getting yourself updated on these important, important health interventions. Yes, uh, doctor, thank you. Such an important message, not just for the youngsters in our lives, but for us adults as well, uh, we appreciate it. And we should mention as we go here, uh, we've got a couple of links for more information about vac vaccines from the CDC and the World Health Organization. We'll share those online as well. You'll find them at rochesterfirst.com.